Hey guys, it's Lemmy Tim. Today I'm going to be telling you what I thought about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And as you can see, I cut my hair. And you probably can't tell, but I also dyed the ends purple. It's like really light because my hair is so dark. Let's get on to the review. So how should I put this? 90% I hate it. 10% like it. I like that it's about like Harry's kids and also that Albus and Scorpius are best friends because you would never think that Harry and Draco's kids would be best friends. And they use time travel. The Time Turner is one of my favorite things and I love time travel. That's why one of my favorite movies Back to the Future. So I thought that that was amazing. Things I hate about it. Why does Harry die? Why does Hermione die? Why does Ron die? Why did they kill Snape again? And also then it's like Albus is dead and then Scorpius has to do it all by himself. Bellatrix and Voldemort had a daughter. That is not right. Um, and then they never, like, it was never said that that trolley lady who pushed the car in the Hogwarts Express was evil. She just, like, gets up and she's like, no, you can't leave the train. She tries to, like, attack them. It's like, who does that? And then I read this, like, over a year ago, so I don't remember it too much, but Cedric becomes a Death Eater when he, like, when he, um, survives, right? Because that's the whole point is that um, Bellatrix and one more's daughter, Delphine, pretends that her name's Delphine Diggory, and she's like, you have to go back in time to save Cedric, because he, he's, like, her cousin or something, cousin, to make a most, his, most Cedric's dad happy. And that's who she takes care of, and then she just shakes them the whole way, and they sneak into the ministry. It's cool, that's cool, but, and also, I think it was Hermione's the Ministress of Magic. Pretty cool, and I think Piercy always wanted to have that job, so Betty's really mad at her. It would be funny, though. And I can't remember, I think it was Ron and Harry are a war, ors, I can't say that word. And then Ginny, she, she was, she was on the Hollyhead Harpies team, but now she writes for the Daily Prophet in the sports section, I think it was. And so basically I almost hate the whole book, well, scripts. And also we were talking about it in class one day because I have a teacher who loves Harry Potter. Um, she was talking about how Chris Child is in here because J.K. Rowling isn't the only person who wrote it, okay? These other two people wrote it, so it's not as good. It wasn't just J.K. Rowling. I don't think that she would have wrote, written something like this. And then I finished it in like four days. I think, no. It, this is tied with me reading... Let's see, I read this and Sorcerer's Stone the fastest. I read both of those in four days. And compared to the other Harry Potter books, it's only, let's see, 308 pages. I think the shortest Harry Potter book's like 304 or something. I don't have the social still with me, so. It's like one of the shorter Harry Potter books, definitely. Definitely the worst Harry Potter book. And then I think a movie on it would be interesting. Definitely my least favorite movie, though, for sure. And also... I don't know about you guys, but whenever I take the jacket off, I love it. Because it's all in gold. Sometimes I like the jacket more than the covers. And I got this, like, the day after it came out last year because I had to pre-order it from Barnes & Noble. And then I got the day after, and all I did was read for the next couple of days to finish the book right away. Put in the comments down below what you guys thought of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Did you like it or did you hate it? Or are you... Do you hate it more and just like it a little bit like I do? Hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys next time. Bye.